everyone, welcome back, your boy Cat Knight here. Today I'm playing Pokemon Fire Red version, and I am seriously excited, my friends. Seriously excited. Just for you guys to know, I'm pre-recording this episode because I'll be busy for the rest of the week. So, yeah, this episode's gonna be pre-recorded, but anyways, we cannot stop the hypeness. I'm playing something else instead of Minecraft. I'm playing Pokemon. I wanted to do this because I want to, like, do something new. I'm, I'm kind of, like, done with Minecraft for, like, a reasonable time. So, yeah, this is gonna be fun. This is by 2004 Green, uh, Game Freak. They released this game. And I'm so excited, my friends. And yeah, it's gonna do that animation thing again. And we're just gonna skip through it. I think we can. Yeah, there we go. So, I'm very excited. And yeah, it would be a brand new journey. So yeah, let's get into this, my friends. I'm gonna directly into this. This various buttons will explain the order of importance. Now, I don't need to see this because I'm playing on PC. But you might want to see it if you're playing on Game Boy. In the world which you're about to enter, you will embark in grand adventure with you as the hero. Of course, of course I'm the hero. I mean, well, there's no doubt about that. Speak to people and check things wherever you go. Be it in towns, roads, or caves, gather information, hints from every source. New pets, I love the Pikachu. New pets will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. At times, you will be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Well, I don't like this line. Be brave and keep pushing. I'm brave. I'm brave. I'm braver than this Pikachu, at least. Through your adventure, we hope that you will be attracted to all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. This is our biggest objective. Press the A button and let your... Uh, for me, it's X. Sorry for that, buddies. Right, so, as I remember this game, Professor Oak will pop up. I remember this game very well. Hello there, glad to meet ya. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People are off a fish refer to me as Pokemon Professor. <laughs> this world is inhabited with far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. For me, they're pets and battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon. I like studying Pokemon, but not like you, buddy. Not like you. Definitely not. You call that an arena bag? But first, let me tell you a little bit about yourself. So I'm gonna tell about myself, boys. Now tell me you are a boy or you are a girl. It's obvious I'm a boy, boys. I'm a boy. Let's begin with your name. What is it? Alright, anyway, boys, we're gonna type in our name quickly. It's, it shouldn't take that much time. So it is C. Uh, it's hard to spot the letters. U. Oops, I just pressed C. <laughs> and T. T. Yeah, and I cannot type them by letters, so I have to type them by hand. So that's kind of cool. But I'm typing fast enough, I guess, as my hands can go for. I'm gonna have to change the controls, dudes. It's too tough. It's too damn tough. All right, boys. All right. So you are name is Cat Knight. That's right, my friends. That's right, my friends. That will be our name. This is my grandson. Oh, Gary. So he's been your rival since you both were babies. Um, what was his name? So guys, now I'm not gonna pick away from any of this green Gary Kaz Toro because I have a special name for this. A very special name I've kept for a long, long, long time. And it's gonna be, of course, uh, oops, that, that wasn't supposed to happen, right? Uh, oh, there we go. So, I've been keeping this name a long, long time and it is going to be Dave. Now, Dave is my brother and he's been my rival and my companion so this guy is the same so it's gonna be completely awesome having him on the journey so yeah I'm very excited indeed and yeah it's gonna be a brand new journey so I gotta name Dave inside of this so yeah it's pretty cool alright so his name was Dave how type of grandfather are you? you forget your own grandson's name yeah so that's right I remember now his name is Dave alright so let's get into this my friends Cut night your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and an adventure with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Alright, my friends. I've got so many plans for what Pokemon we're going to be choosing. What we're going to be doing. Okay. So, now guys, I'm quickly actually going to shut down the volume. Now, the reason to that is many uh, particular reasons. But, 
the main reason here is how do we get out of this? Okay. Um, there we go. So, how are we supposed to move? Well, that's gonna be weird. So, the main reason why I want to do, you know, be naming this series is because I was so bored playing Minecraft. And another reason why I want to turn off the music is because I just can't hear anything. So, I need to change the controls, guys, and I'll be back in just about a minute, alright? A few moments later. it glitched out this thing glitched out I don't know maybe it left for too long but I have a name I was thinking while dinner and it's going to be my friends you're not gonna believe this Venus now you know the Venus flytrap those things and it's based around those but it's different spelling it's gonna be Venus okay Venus not Venus Venus Venus. I'm like, I don't want to pronounce it like this. I wanted to pronounce it like Venus. Okay, so that's how I want to pronounce that Venus. Okay, so there we go. All right. So what are you gonna choose, buddy? I'll take this one then. They've received the Charmander from Professor Oak. Okay, proving. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All uh, right. Yeah. Anyways, Dave likes Charmander. So yeah, I'm gonna head out. You know, he's not gonna disturb me. He's not, he's not gonna disturb me. Of course he is. All right. Wake at night. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Uh, not that. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Our first Pokemon battle against Dave. Of course, he's the competitive of ours. So he's gonna send out Charmander. I'm gonna send out Wayne. Vin us out. Alright, uh, don't teach me how to fight. I'm pretty sure I know how to do that bit on my own. So, yeah, that's pretty simple. You just have to, you know, get your moves set and all ready. So, that's all you have to do. That's all I think I have to do. So, I'm actually going to hit him with a growl. Because that should lower down his attack. That'd be pretty cool. Lowering the foe's attack, yeah. That would give me an advantage. So, I'm going to continue, like growling at him. I'm gonna do one more growl and his attack would completely fall and mine would be like really powerful. So that'd be like giving me an advantage. So there you go. That's gonna make his really really weak. Right, I'm pretty sure this is gonna help me out. Okay, let's hit him with some tackles. Right, so he's gonna go for the scratch and I'm gonna go for the tackle. Right, let's do his damage. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be the damage part. So he's gonna be able to inflict less damage on me. But I'm pretty sure I'm still going to lose this first battle against him. Because he's the faster Pokemon. But as we're going to grow, we're going to probably get stronger. So yeah, that's going to be my advantage on my side. And yeah, maybe we won't... We will win someday against him. Oh, so close. What? No way. What? What? We won our first battle! They won our first battle! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! What? Unbelievable! Take that! I picked the wrong Pokemon! You can't blame Charmander! Uh, you even had the advantage! Hmm, excellent! If you win, you earn prize money, and your Pokemon will grow! Battle other trainers and make your Pokemon strong! Alright my friends, we us did it! Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Good night, Gramps. Smell you later. Oh, come on, that's mean to your own grandfather. Alright guys, that means one thing only, one thing only. That means I'm lighter than him. And Vin us did an excellent job. And you know, defeating him. So yeah, that's pretty cool that we, you know, won against him. And I'm pretty happy with myself. I did a pretty good job, and I'm pretty proud of Venus. Now, 
Aha. Uh -huh. To select. Okay, that's register. So backspace is register. I didn't knew that actually. And what is enter? I'm still learning the controls because they're completely brand new to me. So uh, how do we access the Pokemon thingy? All right, guys, I'll be back once I access a little bit and know a little bit more about this control. Okay, see you in a little bit. Oh, I'm messing up with the controls. I finally have done it, my friends. And you can see Bulbasaur in this corner. I'm pretty sure this corner. And yeah, pretty excited to go back now. Yeah, let's let's go, my friends. And one more thing I want to point out. Now we're going to be capturing another team member, my friends. That's right. So yeah, I'm going to be back once, you know. Let's go. Let's get, you know what? Let's lo just look for it right now. Maybe we might bump into it right now. I just don't want you guys to leave. And there's this guy. Uh, yeah, I need to talk to him. I'm pretty sure I do. Hi, I work at the Pokemon Mart. It's a part of a convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit us in Rodarian City. I know you'll give a sample. Here you go. Obtain the potion. Can never put the potion away in the pocket. Alright, pretty good. Yeah, you know, he's pretty good. And there we go now. We have a person come to me and... No, it's not Ratatat. Of course, no one likes Ratatat, to be honest. I'm actually going to take it down. It's just, it just must be pretty easy battle for me. I guess I'm a higher level advantage. So, yeah, I'm just going to take it down. You know, it's just easy peasy for me. And yeah, it's not normally even taking any more damage to him. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty easy taking out a red attack. She level us up a little bit, so we're prepared for the first gym we're gonna be taking out. Alright, so you know we're just gonna run through a patch of grass and you know we'll probably bump into him. You know, pretty cool. And you know, there we go, another Pokemon caught into the grass. And here is the Pokemon we need to be catching. Pidgey, a male version that's fine with me. Alright guys, we're gonna hit it with a tackle so we can weaken it down to a decent amount of health and we get out a little bit more and yeah I think no I critted it out oh. do I have pokeballs I'm not entirely sure so but Venus grew up and Venus wants to learn Witchy which is pretty cool yeah there we go so do I have that I actually made a feature where now I can check my backpack so yeah there we go we have potion we do not seem to have pokeballs so we need to grab them and yeah that's going to be my goal All right let's go boys so we'll be back Pidgey we'll be back soon we'll be back there must be something around here alright so we're gonna go we're in Rodarian City where I just collected the sample I need to go up there so let's get, give away the sample first yeah, there we go. So there's no gym around here. I'm pretty sure there is a gym around here, but that's close. Hey, come here from Pallet Town. Ooh, you know Professor Oak, right? Here is order came. Can I give it to you and take it to him? And I receive Oak's parcel from Mart Clear. Put it in Oak's parcel key pocket. Okay, thanks. Please say hi to Professor Oak for me. Oh, right, that's pretty cool. So she's pretty nice and, you know, pretty cool. You see, she's chill. And there must be an old man drunk here. <laughs> <laughs> he drank coffee. <laughs> That's not even very funny. He needs coffee. So anyways, we're gonna go into our first Pokemon Center. Hey, Nerd Shoy. Always looking good as you are. Let me, yeah, please heal my Pokemons. And I really need to catch Pidgey because she's mocking me, truly, for, like, having one Pokemon. She even dropped, um, Mock Purple Watry. Watry. So that's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. She's pretty mean, you know. She's pretty mean. I'm out of here. She mocks everyone, even Purple Autry. He has absolutely crazy subscribers. Alright, let's go. So now I can quickly make my way back without actually going through the patch of grass. By just, you know, jumping through these. And, you know, pretty easy way out without even bumping into grass. You know, we're going to take out that route. So, I want to talk about a little bit about this game. Sorry if the clips are a little bit messed up. Because since I'm doing a pre-record session, it's a little bit messed up clips putting together. So, yeah. But... All of it is, you know, genuinely done, so yeah, it's pretty cool. So, let's head inside of Professor Oak's lab, and you know, give him what he needs. Alright. Hey, Professor Oak. Oh, cut night. How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing. May I attach to you? You must have talent as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Cut night delivered the Oak's pouch. So pretty cool, yeah? You know that, you know? Oh, that's custom Pokeballs. It had an order. I had an order, sorry. Gramps. Here comes the boy. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? 
Oh, the Pokedex. All oh, right, I have requested for you too. He's gonna give us the Pokedex. He's gonna give us the Pokedex. On the desk there is my invitate invention, the Pokedex. Oh, it automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's in high technology. Ignorlopedia, okay, pretty cool high word. Cut Knight and Dave, take these with you. Alright, pretty cool, thank you. Cut Knight received the Pokedex from Professor Oak. You can get detailed data by just seeing them. You can catch them, obtain them, and have data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemons. And here are Pokeballs. That's what I needed, my friends. That's what I needed. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's a fair game. Just throw the Pokeball at them and try to catch it. That This won't allow it work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. To to make a complete guide on all this in the world, to, that's my dream. Okay. Ah, uh -huh, I'm not getting that done. I'm sorry, Professor Oak. I'm, I'm not sitting here for 100 years and catching all of them. I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this cut night. I know I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one cut night. Haha. Ha. Don't bother coming around to play my plates after this. So. Of course, now I have to go to his sister's house to gather up the map so I can see the rest of the planet town and rest of the towns that are supposed to be. So here is his town. Let's get inside. Let's grab the map from her. Grandpa asked you to run as an errand, right? Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help. Alright, there we go, my friends. We have the town map from Daisy. Put that town map in my key item pocket. You can use the time map to find wherever you are or check the names of places. So now I have the town map, which I can actually check out, which is pretty cool. So now it should be in my bag if I'm correct. So yeah, there we go. So it's in my town map. That's pretty cool, you know? That's pretty cool. Alright, so now quickly I need to save the game, my friends. Okay. And let's get the new team member and end today's episode. How about that? That sounds pretty cool to me. Okay, so there we go. So I'm gonna be doing a complete playthrough on this and like put aside Minecraft. So yeah, there will be no Minecraft. Sorry for that. Anyways, let's go around places, you know. Let's go around, you know. And who is it gonna be? Is it gonna be my favorite? Yes! And we have a wild level 4 Pidgey, guys. That's gonna be our new team member. Let's hit him with a tackle. And let's weaken it down enough to actually... Let's not hit a crit. Let's hit one more tackle. Please don't hit a crit. Alright, there we go. That should be enough. To hopefully catch my bad boy. And we're gonna throw the Pokeball at him, boys. We're gonna throw it in. And there he goes inside the Pokeball. One, two, three, my friends. We have Pidgey, the new team member of the team. And yeah, that's pretty cool, you know. We have Pidgey now inside this, and we have his Pokedex data as well as recorded. And of course, I've thought of a name, and we're gonna call it Pidgey. Eagle. Now, this is a pretty common name. I'm just kidding. We're not gonna call him Eagle. Well, I had some thought on what I would like to call them, and I kind of have him in name. Urbian. Now, why I want to call him Urbian, there's many reasons. Since, you know, there's falcons on our UAE, this is where I live, there's falcons, so I wanted to think like you know something creative so I'm gonna call him Urbian and I think that's a pretty cool name for a Pokemon Urbian All right there we go my friends we have Urbian the Pidgey all right here we go we have Urbian now quickly let me put Urbian to the main page going to switch out Bulbasaur. Sorry for that, Bulba. But we're going to try to level up all of my team members. I have a big team ahead of me. I've planned out so many teams, so many things I'm planning out to do inside of this Pokemon journey. And this will be absolutely a crazy Pokemon journey. And I'm very excited. Lucky I didn't bump into any Pokemon right there. So let's head to Nurse Joy and let's end today's video, my friends. That was very, really fun today I had you know, playing with you guys, and it was really, really fun, sorry for the pre-recording stuff, I did, and yeah, it was, you know, what I was going to do, so, obviously, I have to do editing, so, it might take time, so I cannot play anymore, alright guys, that should do it for today's episode, hope you guys enjoyed today's Pokemon Let's Play, and if you guys want to see more, leave a like, leave a subscribe, anyways, I'll do any more of them, so, yeah, guys, see you in the next one, goodbye!